Welcome to Friday, August 30th, 2024, your day with the podcast brought to you by ConverseCountyTourism.com. Beautiful landscapes, historic sites, and unique downtowns await visitors to Douglas and Glen Rock, Wyoming. Plan your visit at ConverseCountyTourism.com. We're going to have a short, simple, and sweet podcast for you today as, as that picture shows. No smoke in this photo, but uh, clear skies and high pressure is going to come in and dominate the weather across the West through this Labor Day weekend. So this is going to be pretty nice. High pressure will be in control. The air mass is very dry. As we mentioned yesterday, very high fire danger with this dry air coming on in. So be careful out there. Check your latest fire restrictions and alerts out there for fire danger conditions across the West as you head out over the three day weekend. Now, isolated thunderstorms may pop in a few areas, especially Sunday and Monday. We're talking just a handful, but for the most part, most of you will experience a dry forecast. We'll have a cool front pass through late Tuesday into Wednesday. That'll bring maybe a little bit of a better chance for some showers and thunderstorms and a midweek cool down. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty warm. High pressure is building across the west and will basically take over today through Monday. Here's the low yesterday that straddled the U.S.-Canadian border. We'll show a satellite photo here in a moment about how impressive that system was. But it's headed up into Hudson Bay territory. High pressure is going to build in. This low here will kind of just sit off the west coast for a bit before moving inland towards the middle of next week. Now, the satellite photos yesterday show a lot. There's the swirl of the low. This is late morning yesterday. It was about right here. You can see the counterclockwise spin of the clouds. You can see the snow, impressive snow, in the Canadian Rockies and the mountains of northwest Montana on that satellite image. But then you also see the smoke. Big fire still raging in Idaho. And the counterclockwise airflow, the spin around the low, actually took that Idaho smoke and just drove it into parts of Wyoming, into the Dakotas before getting sucked into the low up there. So for many of you in western Wyoming, of course, southern Idaho, central Wyoming, you, you experienced pretty thick cloud cover that came in, especially around the Pinedale area, Sublet County area, up into the Jackson Yellowstone area, down into Cokeville, and then across eastern areas of Idaho. Now, wind patterns are changing a bit today, so that will disperse the smoke a little bit. But with those fires continuing, occasional plumes of smoke will be noticed across the region. And this is what it looked like yesterday in the Cokeville, Wyoming area. The smoke and haze pretty, pretty thick. But satellite imagery this morning shows that low now way up north, heading out, severe clear across the western half of North America. This is by Labor Day Monday. The high is still in place. That low finally makes it into the Oregon coast, but we're protected under this high pressure ridge. So when we look at what's gonna happen with the chance of afternoon and evening thunderstorms, the suppression of the monsoonal moisture will be down south into the Southern Rockies and Southern Plains. So this is the thunderstorm pattern today. This is where it's gonna be Saturday. Sunday, they're a little bit more north. They're not doing much though. And this is for Labor Day Monday, a little bit more north, kind of gets detached, a little plume comes up a little bit further. So if you're going to be in the high country, and that's really what it's showing here, high country locations are going to have the best chance for these isolated showers and thunderstorms. But if you're up in the mornings early through the early afternoons, you're not going to be bothered by any significant weather. It's going to be the end of the weekend, that Sunday, Monday time frame, when those thunderstorm chances will be the best. This is the precipitation potential. And what you see basically here is that risk of those afternoon and evening thunderstorms Sunday and Monday. This is a precipitation forecast through Monday. So you can see where the moisture is, is where you might get wet this Labor Day weekend. Severe, clear will be noted elsewhere. Temperatures, pretty warm, despite the fact we've had two episodes of snow in the mountains of the Western US and Canada this week. Summer-like temperatures will grace us as we go into the first few days of September. The next cool down, well, that's going to be overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. That low we just showed you off the west coast, the Pacific Northwest, comes through. Basically, this is going to be a cool front coming on by pretty quickly. 
We'll see some cooler temperatures, increasing wind late Tuesday and Wednesday as it moves through, but this high pressure ridge will build in right behind it. The end result is that there's going to be a severe lack of weather for the next 7 to 10 days. Very little in the way of any significant precipitation, pretty warm temperatures, and uh, overall, even though we've had some bumps in the road with some cooler weather at times this week and those mountain snows, I just mentioned there's plenty of summer days left as we go into the first week to 10 days of September. Now, towards the middle of September, you start to see the weather get a little bit more active, and that's probably what we'll see. In the meantime, enjoy this nice weather while we have it. Have a great Labor Day weekend.